Uh, what's up? Hello? Is this thing on? I kind of left the door open so you guys can see the hallway. Luckily enough, it's clean though, so, uh... Yeah. And at least this place will stay a little bit cooler. And I also flipped to which side my microphone is on because it was pissing me off. Erconimo1 says, hi hoops. Happy birthday, you all. Never mind, I don't want to be banned. I hope your day went good and you overall had a good birthday. Also, wow. <laughs> Thanks, Ark. I appreciate you. You too, Rob. Um, yeah, I'm old. I got. I turned 34 today. Actually, technically, in Australian time, I turned 34 yesterday because I'm born just after midnight. So it means that in a different. Like in Australia, I am I am a fourteenth baby. Thirty-four. Thirty-four. Tur thirty-four. So yeah. Um I took today off work. I pretty much went to the gym this morning just because I wanted to make sure I did a, a gym session today, and I'd much rather have done it during the day than at night. Um sat on the couch, did pretty much fucking nothing the whole day, which was my goal for the day. I didn't even play video games. That was, that was the weird part. Like, I thought I would be spending most of my time playing video games. Nah. I just pretty much chilled and did nothing. Um, went into, like, for a walk around town uh, with Stone. Picked up a stepladder for her place because she's short and all of her stuff's on high fucking cabinets. So, yeah. It was a good day. I, I actually don't celebrate my birthday that much. So... Yeah. It was my kind of birthday. Nice and quiet. Nice and chill. Um, and now I'm here. Here chilling with you guys. Doing the streaming. I went and had a look at uh, cameras today as well. Because I kind of want to upgrade this thing to something that can go full wide angle. So that way you guys can see how messy my desk really is. Um, but we'll see. That'll cost me an arm and a leg. Uh, I also had a look at a new TV because... I'm tempted to give stone mine and I buy a new one so that way I have a better quality TV than what I currently have. Yeah, do like the cheesy white. I like Cheesy's lens. Like I've said to him, I would buy pretty much his setup because he can go from like this view and then he just twists it and it goes like way, way back. And I actually really like big, like big angles. I don't like being this close to the camera kind of thing. Oh, but that's just me. Um, because I went live late, because I had updates to do. We're going to play COD. And then tomorrow night I'm at My Chemical Romance, Friday night I'm at My Chemical Romance, and then Saturday night I'll probably play some play some games. Why does that sound buzzy? Might have something to do with the cable. Maybe. I don't know. I need to fix that later. It sounds buzzy on my end, but it may just be me. Actually, that seemed to fix it. Might have just been touching something. Anyway, um, yeah, so we're going to play Modern Warfare 2. I think I'm going to jump into Hardcore, because I'm now back to playing... Um, I finished ra off stream ranking up the Sniper, so now I'm on to the Hemlock. My manager was rubbing it in my face that he sees my chemical romance on Sunday. Uh, yeah, I'm seeing them twice. I'm gutted I didn't see them in New Zealand though, because the band that was the opening song are friends of mine, a band called Goodnight Nurse, and they reformed, like, they got back together after 13, 15 years just to play my chemical romance, and I think they're going to break up and never play again. So, oh well, I missed it. Um,. But it is what it is. And I think I set my mic up so it was too far away, but I'll fix that later. Uh, so yeah, we got the hemlock. And I did do all my cable management this weekend as well. Because right now there's still stuff hanging on the bottom of my desk that needs to be, like, strapped up to the desk. Uh, start match. What a way to go out. I know. What a way to come back and then go again. It's like, oh yeah, we're, we're going to come back. We're going to play all of our hits. We're going to write a new song. 
and then we're just gonna disappear again. Like, their stuff is a bop. Their stuff is all, like, old-school punk pop. They were really, really well-known in New Zealand. I think they became a little bit known in Australia. That sounds dodgy. I'm actually really tempted to fix this mic now. <coughs> I'll fix it between games. I just need to push it in so it's a little bit closer to the center because right now it's a little bit too far away maybe who knows oh i hate the fact that you can't mute people in that lobby pugs i need to mute pugs <coughs> he's the guy with the open mic Okay, so this gun is average at best. It's not really made for anything worthwhile. Nice to see they almost got rid of the beginning lag. Okay, I'm just gonna sit here and watch you get fucked. Like rickety one eighty is thing. I was wondering where the fuck he was. I gotta remember I don't have breath holding. Let's see if you've got walls. Ah, you're camping there. Okay. You're, you're in a little little corner. Anything that recoils trash. Fucking money, woman. My Jan four gifted my Jan four a subscription. <laughs> it's three hundred and sixty two subs. Fucking hell. My Jan four just subscribed. Happy birthday, old fart. Thank you. I appreciate you. Even if you called me an old fart. I don't like that too. Fuck off, don't you dare.
Got some killers in that group. Got, you got one guy just camping at the back. Bruce Vegas. You can't. Fucking hold my nade. Oh, the fuck, man. My Jan 4 gifted my Jan 4 a subscription. I need to change that. I don't know why it's saying that, but thank you. Fucking that's. Eight gifted. That's 18 gifted in total. Jesus Christ, woman. Save your money. It's supposed to be going on holiday. I'm questioning some of these people. Oh fuck, everyone's lurking. Some more kill. Who did you give to? I'll read it in a second. Grenade out! Covering your six. Hostile UAV in the area. I see it. Got one. Reloading. God damn it. Fuck, he's back there again. Ah, uh, yeah, day was good. I did nothing. So it made it all the more worthwhile. I don't aim to really do anything on days like today. I just take the day off so that way I don't do... Fuck all. What about you? How was your day? I even gave Hoops A and Z bot a gifted sub. Hey, what? Why did it look like he was on our team? Bruce's fucking camping strategy worked. And nothing on the Savo. Jeez, got him with a shoddy. Um, okay. So. Mike Wazowski, Ark, Cheesy, Shadow. I always say TV out of this one. Juju, Star Avert, Jake the Snake, Just Crunchy, and Hoops and Z bot in the first round of Gifted? Fuck me. Ginge, Rose, Cinnabons, Fez, Red Eye Dallas, Brig Galaxy, Griffiths, and Juicy Iris. Juicy Iris got a gift? Nice. Nah, I'm, I, thank you. You didn't have to give me 18 though. That's, that's too much. I need to, like, the new setup's cool. I like the situation. I need to, like, realign a few things and get some longer cables for a few things. And then actually cable management, the cable manage this shit properly. Um, there's a few dangling cables everywhere. Um, so I'll cable manage all of that. I want to get longer cables so that way everything actually has the ability to move wherever I want on the desk. Um, and then I need some more lights. So 
but like i want to run a play strip down the back of this side of the desk that goes up against the wall so that way there's actually some yellow visible because right now the only yellow is the strip under the desk And that's just it, because I am missing some lights, because obviously in the previous room, or oh, the previous spot, you had the lounge light, and then all in the stream area was yellow, and the lounge was blue. So that's how I differentiated the two zones. Um, but here, it's like I've got a yellow strip against the wall, and then I've got the blue strip against this wall. So if you look carefully, you can see a little bit of yellow in the corner. And if I move, you can see the yellow way, way back. So I just got to get a couple more light or some more lights. And then that should fix that. But yeah, it's good. I like it. It's a bit of a different setup for me. How did I unlock anything? Actually, hold on. I know what I was going to do. Uh, yes, I don't care if it counts as a loss. Legs out. Yeah, I know, you can see everything in the mirror. It's kind of weird. Hoops looks tiny, small man. Wow. I'm going to the gym and I'm getting smaller. Not even losing weight. Which can only mean one thing. Either I'm eating too much food because I'm exercising or I'm just gaining that much muscle that much muscle, which I call bullshit on. I highly doubt I'm doing that. Um Alright. What do I do? Do I go on evasion or do I keep playing hardcore? No, I'll go on evasion. Yeah, I moved my mic. So my mic's now basically where it was on my old desk. Which means it's a bit more straight. And straight into my face. Because I like having my mic close because I talk quietly. And if it's not straight in front of you, it doesn't really pick up everything. And I don't want you to pick up the echoes of the room. Which is something I need to fix. I need to figure out how I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to get some multi-mounts or something and then just attach some foam pads to it. And have that so it sits behind the stream. So, I don't know, I'll work it out. Hoops like it's straight into his face. Fuck shit out of context. But no, I appreciate you guys for coming in and hanging out. Feels weird. I haven't streamed probably in a while. The last stream I did was like a random late night one just to test stuff out. Mm. I know. Super weird. Little over the place. 
well as I can be. How, how's your job hunt going, by the way, Rob? I think everyone's busy at the moment. I think just with the um, financial crisis that we're having, everyone's just like, I don't want to spend money and I have to work lots to earn my money. Especially if you have a mortgage or pay rent and your rent's gone up. Which will be interesting to see what happens there. Not going well to be completely honest, you're struggling. Um let me see if I've got anything going casual wise in my stores. And I'll fire you a message. I'll just send you a few locations in Sydney. <sighs> and then that way you can Okay, there is something in the air. I've come in like halfway through this one. He's done. So literally the places near me that are hiring and looking for more permanent positions, which you can't do. Ask for a three month contract. Bro. I think maybe this is a bad idea. This hemlock bounces. Bro, where? Oh, there. Okay. I decided the wedding will be in Oz because we got good news the other week that my grandfather is now officially cancelled. Oh, that's fucking huge. That's amazing news. this get a gunsmith they keep that I'm getting hammered. I'm gonna go back to bloody hardcore. Yeah, it does. 
Hans is pro like yeah. Hans is just trash. I have mad respect for anyone who goes through it and comes out the other end in one piece. Because mentally it just fucks with people as well. You're basically told you have X amount of months or whatever to live. But if you go through this radiation treatment and chemotherapy, you might have a chance of like pulling through. So it's like someone's literally staring down the barrel of death and they're like, yeah, sure. I'll pump my body full of chemicals just to see if it kills something. But yeah, fuck. That's huge news though. And also it means your family don't have to do a big trip to America. Because it's probably cheaper for Americans to fly to Australia. I have a feeling. Fucking people up with a shotgun. A grenade out. A Samoan HSV. Dude's a dude's a Holden fan. God damn it. How does he have a new clan pack? Other than by hacking. Rank play win. I will not play rank. Bro, I hate the fact that you get signs in this thing that you gotta watch out for. He's got that handgun. I'm number one. Regular lobbies are sweaty though. Yeah, exactly. Baby metal? Nah, baby metal aren't my thing. Are 
he honestly just got fucked up. Standing in our own fucking spawn. <sighs> yeah, not not a huge baby metal fan. I saw them was it download they went to download once and I was just like okay they're okay they're like a one and done kind of band I don't think they're a band that you'll go to over and over again okay the highest KD on my team that's saying something Yeah, I finally have an attachment. Uh, weapons. Bam, bam. Gunsmith. I really listen to them. I just want to see them live. Oh no, that one. Okay. Yeah, but I think it's because everyone thinks that they'll sell out Margaret Court. For the same reason like that you just said, like they're a band that seemed like a band that would be good to go and see. I'm waiting for them to do a venue upgrade for Electric Cowboy. Yeah, that's true. I'll agree with that one. Oh, this is why I hate this game. Do da, do da. Is that an EBR? I just get fucked up by an EBR. Pigino back zero and just subscribed, Mr. Hoops. How are things? 
I started my master's degree last week and am officially on my two-year journey to teaching. Oh, bro. You're gonna be Mr. Piggy soon. Appreciate you, Piggy. Thank you. I hope you are doing well, man. I know Masters is a huge fucking thing. Ah, he's camping there. Just like him because I'm in... Do not disturb I thought I'd drop in for a bit. Yeah, you're all good. Wait, do not disturb all Dungeons and Dragons. Fucking those two carried 21 kills apiece. Well, I was in, we're all in positive KD bar one. And I mean, he would have been in positive if team kills counted. I hate how long it takes for the battle pass to progress. But yeah, I'm not going to stream too much longer. You guys got me for another 15 minutes. But I appreciate you all. Um, Mags, fuck, dropping 18 subs. I really appreciate you for that. You didn't have to. Subs are still expensive, aren't they? Yes, I am doing the maths, Max. Fuck, woman. It's been more on me than most of my, like, family. That's a happy birthday. Yeah, okay. Thank you. But like I said, I don't celebrate it that often, so you don't have to do it. You could have saved your money. You could have gone and bought $144 worth of Bilsons. That would have been like... Maybe six packs you are family ah don't make me cry i do i appreciate it i i always feel like i'm not genuine when i say i appreciate what you guys do getting like resubbing gifting subs all that sort of shit just chilling in streams like everything it's just like uh oh, me you guys are too good to me i've been doing this for way too long Baba Yaga. Okay. Let's see if I can get a nade kill off the rip. Oh. I got first blood. That's positive. Oh, fuck off. I thought I had that. I can't wait to see this song live. I'm hoping it's on their playlist. Actually, did you see, um, is Cal still in chat? Cal, did you see the comment from, uh, Notfest about... Um, the set list and they're like it's only two stages there's going to be no crash clashes Phoenix 
Requesting recon flyover. Copy. UAV orbiting the area. You'll have to do better than that. Grenade out. Damn. God damn it. I was almost at a veto. UAV is being refueled. RTB at this time. How is that a long shot of forty meters? I'm gonna have to go. Gotta be in bed by t before 12 and up by 7. Oh, thank you, Max. Thank you for coming and hanging out. I do appreciate it. Please look after yourself. Please go and get the good sleeps. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Ah, oh, he's camping on top of the fire truck. Okay, I'm up his end. No, I'm not. She's lying, it's not my birthday. Bro! Okay, you don't have to give subs. I need to fix this alert though. Piggy no back zero N gifted Piggy no back zero N a subscription. I need to figure out why that's chalked. Stream to remember. Birthday streams always are. Birthday streams are just dumb. Because people give subs and I feel bad for it because all I did was get old. Bro, right on that asses. Nah, I appreciate you guys. You, you honestly don't have to give subs and shit, but I appreciate it all the same. See, that was a long shot. So for every year you've been alive. Pretty much is. Oh, we're at 30, 30 total at the moment, but no, we're not going to do a sub for every year I've been alive. That's too many. You got 40 subs. Bro, I know I'm old, but... Bro! Where the fuck did you come from? You're going to get me again? I did the best in the lobby. I mean, that's a positive, I guess. Oh, we have a we have a token. What's up? Hey, doing crunchy?
Yeah, you have to be at a thousand and then have a fuck ton of watch hours and all that sort of stuff to get um, monetized on YouTube. That's the reason why it's like, get them to a thousand. I'm not even a thousand followers on Twitch. No, 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 YouTube. Go to Hoops on YouTube and get them to a thousand subs. Subs on YouTube are free. Bro, you, you, you've got your head too far in the books. Um... I was going to do something and then I just got completely thrown off by that combo. Adulting just paid one. Fuck. Do you own a Mercedes? Or a Honda? It's the only two cars that I can think of that will cost that much. Or a Subaru, actually. What? Mercedes? Or any European car. Um, Mercedes. Like, any European car. Hondas or Subarus. VW. European car. There we go. What was wrong with it? Were the windows just not winding down? VW Bugatti, fuck. Yeah, it costs you 1000 just for the oil change. Nah, it'll be something stupid to do with the gearbox. If it's a Volkswagen Golf. Major service and minor service. Oh, no oh, cheese. Um, you had that problem before. It was one thing, like, I was looking at Volkswagen Golfs and we had a guy that was a car nut that worked for us because he used to work for Repco. And um, he was like, well, if you get them, just make sure that you get the extended warranty. Don't buy them secondhand because basically the gearbox is one of the first things that fucks out on it. Um, unless it's a manual, then you should be okay. Um, I was like, yeah, well, I'm only looking at manual because um, driving manual in Auckland is actually very easy. Um... But I didn't end up buying it. He almost took me into, I think it's an Audi A3 or an S3. And he was like, this car is actually better. And he ended up buying one. He talked himself into buying one. It was crack up. The DSG is in order. Yep. Are you G oh, wait, wait, you're straight, straight D DSG or are you GTI? You should have gone GTI. He bought an R and then complained about the fucking fuel guzzle. Because he had a Volkswagen Golf R and then he swapped it for the A3 and then just as I was leaving the company he swapped it again for a GTI Golf. A lot better legit the next... Yeah. I I personally became a Toyota fan because like I had a Caldina so I had... Uh, let's go to this. So I had, uh, let's get it so it's actually the right model. I really wanted the turbo version, but I didn't end up getting the turbo version. So I had this. It's actually quite a nice car. It's a sports bag. It's not a full station wagon. But you pretty much get, actually, let's see what pops up. Oh, this is the turbo version. But inside, they're actually really nice cars. And I, I put a reversing camera on mine and I had a full screen um, head unit to replace that one. But it was good. I fucking loved it. You're going to Japan. Nice. To buy a car. I, this is making me miss my Caldina. Before that I had like a 96 Lignum, I think it was. Obviously New Zealand cars are different to... Not VR4, I had a V6. 
I had a V6 engine in my car. It fucking weirded people out. So I had this but in silver. And it was like, honestly, fucking loved it. It was great for long distance. It was shit for fucking local. Oh, over here it was called the Galant. The Galant station wagon. So yeah. I was actually talking about my old bikes the other day, so I had this. They had a VTEC engine. So this bike came standard with a VTEC engine. And I was just like, okay. I had it in this colorway. It was such a good bike too. You, uh, 400cc. Which is all you needed because you're doing mainly fucking like commuter trips. But it was it was enough for touring. So you're able to go a lot from like you want to get a 600 yourself. I'll show you exactly what I want to get. I want to get this but what part of me kind of wants this bike and we'll look at it in a second. I am going to probably get this. So this is the bike that I really want because it's called the Widowmaker for a reason. It's a 1300cc motorbike and it can go from 0 to 100 in like 2.3 seconds. That's what happens when you chuck a basically a small car engine onto a um, small frame. Do they actually have any of the different colorways? Come on, show me, show me the goods. Here you go. So the black, oh, it just looks so clean and black. So that was the, like, if I was, if money was no option and I had no will to live, then I'd buy this. Because in Australia, you're bound to get fucking done. Um, zero to 100 in, I think, four seconds on this bike. This is the GSX S1000. Which I'd get an all black. Like, I like open fed bikes. Yeah, but you think about it, you got Great Ocean Road, and I'd love to go for a road trip up to Queensland. Just a little tap and you're doing a wheelie. I've actually ridden a Hayabusa back in New Zealand and you're not far from the truth. You have to open it up really slow. Imagine doing a million kilometers on that. Imagine how many bugs would get in your teeth. But yeah, I like this bike. This bike just... I would happily... Come back. Come back, Google Chrome. Um... This bike just, it, it feels like the older brother to the CB400. Easy clutch. I mean, you won't, okay. Inside a tip, uh, you only have to use, technically, on a motorbike, you only have to use a clutch for downshifting and taking off from first to second. After that, you can actually not use the clutch basically the gearbox on a motorbike is the same as a rally car you barely have to use a clutch once you're out of first which is something that I found weird but I actually did it and it was way better yo are you a ninja yeah okay quackers <laughs> I can't do quackers eh like kawasaki's like they're great for learners like 250 ninjas fucking the perfect learner bike they got enough squirt to do like quick takeoffs. They've got enough guts to be able to do long distance. But yeah. Uh sorry, I'm used to old. So lambs became a thing in New Zealand after I left New Zealand. So lambs is basically the for those of you playing at home that don't know this, um, is basically like a limiter on your motorbikes that way. 
If you're on a learner's motorbike, but you're like a really, really big guy, you can actually get a bike that can cope with you, but you can't open it right up to like 120. It stops you. But yeah. That was fun. I like that bike. This is the bike that I learned to... Uh, it was an 85. This is, this is the bike I learned to ride on. You guys can't really see that. Images. There you go. That's a better picture. Kind of. Uh, open image in the new tab. There you go. Really, really old school. We bought one like 1985, like wasn't in as great condition as this because they tried to paint the fucking fuel tank themselves. Um, it lasted me a good year and then I blew the engine up because I forgot to put oil. No, I didn't forget to put oil in it. <gasps> I actually put oil in it. It's just we were going down the motorway um, and this bike was not made for a 140 kg guy to sit on it and go down a motorway. Um... So we had that and then my dad bought a new bike and gifted me his old bike which was not made for um it wasn't really made for long distances it was made for commuting it was made for local commuting because you actually had where the fuel tank was supposed to be a boot Why don't you ride anymore? Because uh, investing in a motorbike in Australia is fucking expensive. Uh, this is a GSX 250F across. They don't make them like this anymore. So the fuel tank's actually under the seat. So you fuel it in at the back. And this is where, this is big enough to fit a helmet. So pretty much I used to chuck my helmet in there when I went to work. So yeah, goated motorbike. I thought they were going to make a comeback with it, but... Because the concept of it's like perfect. It just needs a better engine on it. New Zealand's a lot cheaper. Like, how much is it to register? How much to register a motorbike in Victoria? Engine capacity to 500, over 500, including the levy. Metropolitan, $723 a year. NZTA motorcycle registration. Two hundred and fifty. Pretty sure that's what it is. So yeah, three times the amount to register it. Six hundred and fifty if it's exempt. Oh, right, okay, so I have to pay the 720. And then... Insurance. Let's just go with RACV. And go comprehensive, because I'd want full cover. Ah, uh, you have to call to get a quote. Ah, oh, that's shit. Never mind that. 
New South Wales like 300 if the 600 for green slip, like 90 for pink slip. Ouch. Yeah, the whole like just general price of doing anything is fucking expensive. But then also, I would have had to have spent how much would the bike be? Just build it. Build an order. Build an order. Okay. I want it in black. Parts. Do I want the carbon kit? New seat. No, I don't want that. I don't want axle glider sets. I don't need a tank bag. I don't need that. I don't want the carbon front fenders. I don't want carbon anything. I don't need the paddock stands. I don't need the clutch guards. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. I would change that to yellow if they could. That's the caliper sets. Don't need that. I actually would put a horizontal fucking tank sticker on it, but I'll do my own. No, nah, okay. So I don't need anything. So it's 1799 drive away. Or not drive away. Oh yeah, right away. Like 5k. Probably. It would probably be that expensive. It used to cost me like 70 a month back in New Zealand to do my bike insurance. Like I would, if I had money, if I won lotto, this would be the first thing I bought. Because I would love to just go honing down Great Ocean Road. It would be fun to go down Great Ocean Road and just soak in the sights. But until either A, I get, what is it? $2.50 American. So let's just calculate this, pretending like it's American dollars. Divided by $2.50. Until I get 7,200 subs, um, that ain't going to happen anytime soon. Yeah, I'd chuck yellow wherever I could on this. Like, if they did the yellow rims... It was actually a really nice GSXR 600. Well, I don't want to go shopping. I'll go images. It wasn't that one. It was like a matte black. Maybe it was a 7. I dare I say it, actually, this is really nice. <laughs> Lots of sub. Any oilers in chat? Nah, there, there's better things to spend your money on at the moment, like fucking rent. Oh, itchy ear. Yeah, I... Ah, oh, there it is. This is the bike. It's actually concrete grey. I only see it at night time, so it looks black to me. But this bike is clean. That's the grainiest resolution I can give you. But yeah. Anyway, um, I need to go to bed because old man needs sleep. Uh,
Let's quit this game. Uh, who's live? Juicy's live or Geordie's live. And then Wheezy's live. Screw it. It was Juicy's first stream back. So I'm going to watch an ad. You guys can go and say hi to Juicy. Um, she is playing Faz at the moment. Just bring it up so I can see the raid. Um, please, everyone, look after yourselves. Uh, if you haven't done so already, I haven't done this script in a while. Fuck, I normally just say Kakiti and on bye. Uh, if you haven't done so already, YouTube, s follow the fucking channel, join the socials, check out the Discord. Um, if you want to see the before and after of this stream setup, it's on TikTok. Um, it's the only place I've actually posted it. But, um, I appreciate you all. Please go show Juicy some love. She's, uh, had a cold or something in the last week. So this is her first stream back. Um... Yeah, we'll go with that. If you've, everyone should have hoops of love. Everyone just got gifted a fucking sub. There you go. Um, that's the raid message. Thank you, Crunchy. I appreciate you. I appreciate everyone. Mags, thank you for the um eighteen gifted sub. Piggy, if you're still lurking, thank you for the five gifted. You fucking legends. You don't have to do that shit, but I appreciate you. Um, as a Kiwi like myself would say, kakiti ano, peace, and I'll catch you guys. Saturday. Bye. Narbob is now following.